What is up guys, Agent Masses here today doing another LEGO Next Nights review, this time on Battle Suit Axle. This set contains 88 pieces and is item number 70365. On the front of the box you can see Battle Suit Axle and you can see that it comes with 5 Nexo powers. On the back of the box you can see how to put Axle in the Battle Suit and you can see how to scan the Nexo powers into the game. And here you can see Battlesuit Axle fully completed, but first off, let's take a look at the minifigure. The Axle included in Battlesuit Axle is exclusive to the set, and personally I think this is my favorite Axle that they have released thus far. I really like the way the just colors fit together, I think this has pretty decent color distribution, and I just like the way it looks overall. Of course, you can move up the visor like this so you can see his face, and then you can also see in the middle his bull symbol, which you can also see on the actual battle suit itself. On the back of Axel, you can just see four studs, and then when you remove the helmet, there's an alternate face. Unlike the other battle suits, Axel is unique in the fact that he actually sits up on this brick piece instead of just the uh, new mold for the max. And then you can, of course, move up the piece like all the other uh, battle suits, and then he has these two sort of controls that he uses which I actually really like that they included that because it makes it look like you know he's not just sitting there you can see how he would actually control the battle suit and move it around which is a nice little detail by Lego. Battlesuit Axel includes this fully brick built axe which looks pretty nice I like how it came out uh, interestingly enough unlike Battlesuit Clay and Battlesuit Lance there is not an extra one of this axe piece there's only one of them however other than that, there isn't anything too much to say about it. You can also kind of see how they do kind of try to keep the uh, transparent orange color scheme flowing through the whole thing, which is two cylinder pieces back there. And interesting enough, this piece on the very back is actually dark gray, while the rest of it is a light gray. Along with all of the other battle suits, Battlesuit Axle comes with this new shield piece, which connects three Nexo powers. Unlike Aaron, there isn't anything too special about it. There's no extra add-ons or anything. However, you can see that there are little places for you to clip add-ons, and then you can also see the three Nexo powers on the shield, which you can exchange out for the other two in the set if you don't like this specific three. On the back of Axel, you can see an orange clip, which you can use to connect one of the alternate add-ons from the Knight's vehicles, and then you can create a more powered-up version of Battlesuit Axel. The five Nexo powers included this set from left to right are as follows, Shining Axe, Metal Minotaur, Tone of Power, Charging Attack, and Banana Bombs. So overall, Battlesuit Axle is a pretty good set. It is definitely the most unique looking out of all of the Battlesuits, mainly because of just the way the Axle minifigure is. It can't actually fully go under that new contraption piece for 2017, so it is sitting up a little bit farther, but it also, in my opinion, makes it look a little bit better than just the minifigure head sticking out. However, this set is a little bit limited in posability. In the legs, you're limited in how far you can move it back, because the way that they're built with this three length side, you know, thing going back, it gets a little bit limited and you can't move it that far back. The feet, you can't really move too much either. You can move them side to side, but moving it forward, you're a little more restricted because of the way the mixel ball joints are aligned. Same thing in the upper arms, however, that's not too bad because the waist articulation does help you out with being able to actually slash the X. But other than that, I don't really have any problems with it. The build was pretty good. I like the and just the whole buff look that you get from Axel. Um, some people, I think, aren't going to like the shortness and sort of stoutness of the legs, but in my opinion, that's fine. But for the most part, it really just works out well for me. The only issue is going to be, it's going to be a little bit harder to play with than some of the other battle suits, mainly because of the more limited articulation. However, if you're not really wanting to play with the set as much, if this is more of, you know, you want to really just display it, I think this is going to be one of the best battle suits for you. However, for playability, this one's going to be probably the most limited. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my review. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and check back later for more reviews. Until next time, see you guys later.